evening people of the internet i uh i got a really really hard lift ahead of me tonight and i don't know if i'm gonna do it so i figured i'd just take a little bit of time and do some reflection before i i gave my big effort i find that sometimes helps me um sometimes i like to put myself in my shoes when I was younger. I find that that sometimes helps me to talk to my kids. Uh, I find that uh, the relationship that I'm having with my kids right now is is really interesting. Um, it's more more focused than it normally is. I remember when I was their age. I remember I was fighting a lot with my mother and my father at that time. Don't even remember what it was about, but I remember being really upset. I remember going after a big fight, uh, going and sitting underneath a couple pine trees in my front yard. And a friend of my mother's who was staying with us at the time came out to console me. And she said that, um, you know, you aren't your parents. When you're a kid, you still get to decide who you become. And we're all still kids and we're always deciding what we get to become, but it's maybe a bit easier when you're young. Um, if uh, you're a kid, your job is to take the best of your parents and to make that be who you become. Don't worry about the stuff that you don't like. Leave that behind. If you can do that, as you become an adult, you, uh, you've you made the world a better place. Uh, I try and draw inspiration from just about everybody I meet. I thought I'd uh, talk about a friend of mine, Marvin Cohen. Marvin is, is quite famous in the arm wrestling community. He's been around a very long time. Uh, probably most famous for um, his involvement with Over the Top. Pretty much, uh, if there was no Marvin Cohen, there would be no Over the Top. And, um, you know, he's famous for a lot of things. His charisma and ability to, to, to make any number of crazy things come true. I think one of the things that always just so impressed me about Marvin is how no matter what was thrown at him, he would always spin it so that it was a positive situation. Any perceived loss or any perceived failure, just being around the guy, um, he seemed to instantly be able to turn it into a positive. And during this period, we've all had our perceived losses and perhaps our perceived gains. And it's maybe different for everybody. Um, so I try and be, during this period, more like Marvin. And I'm just doing my best to focus on the positives. And I worry I might miss them when this thing's over. And I think it might be over soon. We've got the gift of time, really. It's the gift of time. That's what mine is. Everything for me just got pushed back. More time, more time to train, more time with my family. It's a gift. It's a gift this time period. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys are doing great. Uh, we'll see if uh, the gift of time is working for me. As I'm going to just crush 155. 155 multi-spinner. And this, I, I've never, I've never, ever done this, okay? Not really even close. 
And you can cheat the multi-spinner a lot. Mm. I'm going to do my best not to cheat it. Okay, that means when I wrap, the, the belt should be coming up on this side of, of my wrist. Okay, I, I don't wrap it down my wrist. Anyways, enough of that. Here we go. Multi-spinner times three. 155 pounds. This is not going to be easy. Was easy. Gift of time. Love you, Marvin. We should all be a little bit more like you sometimes.